Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this doesn't work. Let's get open for business here on this Monday morning. And thank you for joining in to today's edition of Don't Sleep on the Dallas Cowboys, because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys. Things happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning, so you have to be up to speed with all that is America's team. So it is Monday morning and the last week before the craziness starts. The Dallas Cowboys have been working on trying to get a long-term deal with Demarcus Lawrence and both sides apparently are a long ways apart. And they have basically today and tomorrow to get a deal done or they need to franchise tag him to get more time. Now understand, you know, everybody jumped to me. He doesn't want to get the tag. Nobody wants to get the tag because they want that long-term security. But if they do not put the tag on him, and it doesn't mean he has to sign it right away, it basically buys him time until July 15th to work on a long-term deal. He doesn't have to sign it unless he's going to play on the tag. And they have got to get the deal done. Because here's the thing. What you want to do is you want to get him this deal done because that will determine how much money that you're going to have left to be able to spend if you're going to be a, uh, a player in a free agency. Bottom line. And we know that the Cowboys are definitely all in for this season, that they want to win, in which case they need to be a player in free agency. Now, everybody's got their hand out and wants to get the most that they can. Cole Beasley wants to get $20 million guaranteed. Demarcus Lawrence, I'm sure, wants to get a, a contract up there with Aaron Donald and Khalil Mack. Dak Prescott, he's your quarterback. He's going to need to get paid. Amari Cooper, you know, uh, some of these deals actually can benefit you and give you more cash. Like I've, I've pointed out with Amari Cooper's number being um, almost $14 million this year, you can sign him to a deal and save yourself 4 or $5, 6000000 million. They can get money if they need to, but you don't want to spend more than you have to, and that's where negotiations come in, and there will be a lot of negotiations going on. The question is, how many of these guys of their own are going to be able to keep I don't know if they're going to be able to keep Cole Beasley, not at the number he's looking at. But what you find out by looking around, a lot of times you figure, oh, my God, like, you know, A.B. A.B. figured that, you know, he could just write his deal with anybody. But now you're hearing, you know, a lot of teams that are shying away from him because of the cost, as well as the drama that's kind of going with them. And then you put on their age. So people aren't looking to have a guaranteed contract with a whole lot of money for a guy who couldn't get along with Big Ben and they were constantly winning. Now, I've heard rumors that the Washington Redskins, which makes sense, are interested in signing um, A.B., but can you imagine him going from Pittsburgh having Big Ben throw for him to Washington Redskins where who knows who's going to be the quarterback? Personally, I think the Redskins need to just blow the whole thing up and plan for the future, lose as many games as possible so you get a high pick for next year. But, hey, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll, and uh, I'm not a GM. So that's where we are with those situations. We know there's a sense of urgency with the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones to win it all, and they're going to need to come up with some really good deals. Um, an update for you guys. The Power 4 shirt, it's in uh, Lake Charles right now. You can see a lot of you guys that have signed the shirt and stuff. Um, some of them have actually been signed in your absence because you can't get to the shirt and things like that. Connecticut Cowboys, I can see you right there. Stephanie, there you are and things. Um, so we've gone through, and if everybody who has asked me about it, we're, I'm getting somebody to sign your name on there um, and so forth. The problem's going to be is... This thing's going to get filled up. I mean, this thing's really going to get filled up. So if you are anywhere near Lake Charles on Facebook, um, Deidre Walton has the shirt. She's going to be sending it out um, tomorrow um, to Miss Jackie. And she's working on actually having a meetup in uh, Arlington, um, which will be really, really cool. So um, definitely if you're anywhere near Arlington and you want to be part of it, uh, we'll, we'll get you details on it. And um, if you're in Lake Charles, 
um, again, Deidre Walton or uh, Lou Walton on Facebook. You can uh, try talk to her and see if you can actually meet up with her and get it signed as well. I'm excited about this thing. It's actually really cool that now it's something that physically we're all a part of. And uh, at the end of the month, less than four weeks from now, we'll be giving it to Dak Prescott just before they start doing their uh, off-season workouts. So that's going to be really, really cool. I need a, a sip of my coffee. So tomorrow is the last day really to negotiate with Demarcus Lawrence. And next Monday is when you are legally able to start talking to the free agents, start negotiating deals. It'll be interesting to see how deep we get with conversations with Earl Thomas. We've already supposedly had conversations with him where he wants 15 million. Um, yeah, 15 million. Moving right along, at the Combine, the Cowboys are definitely doing their due diligence. They're definitely talking to plenty of defensive linemen, defensive ends, uh, tight ends, as well as safeties. The good thing for our Cowboys is this draft is actually loaded with a lot of defensive line help. So you may end up getting a guy who's really, really good to fall into the second round. Or the Cowboys, I still think, might decide to package up one of those fourth-round picks for the second and maybe try and move up if there's a guy they see may be a difference maker, somebody that's really highly rated on their board and has kind of fallen down the map some. But i got to go ahead and get these cabinets that are upstairs on down to Stafford installed so I have some space to build this kitchen. And I've also got a debate on whether or not I want to try and rip this thing up and get the other locker in here today or not because I may not be able to get everything back in place for our live stream tonight so ah uh, boy I hate messing with the wiring but it would be nice to get that done so as always friends I will see you guys with any news on the Dallas Cowboys I'm Mark Holmes this is Cowboy Joe Boo and I'll see you guys soon